Right there, and a very good morning, and welcome to another vlog from the USA road trip. Today, we're at Kennywood, and look at this, very, very different entrance area to what I was expecting. Knew it was a very classic amusement park, but the parking's really strange, and you have to watch our travel vlog to see that. You sort of park on the other side of the road and get an escalator down, and yeah, it's all very strange. But look at this, this is like the typical American classic amusement park, and this place is old. It dates back to 1899. We've got lots of classic rides to get on here today. Loads of wooden roller coasters. And yeah, I am really excited. We've got a, a log flume boat down there, a vintage car. And wow, look at this nice little carousel fountain here in the middle with the horse. There we are, apply today's admission to a season pass. Don't think we're going to be doing that, unfortunately. I think it's going to be one visit, but here we go. This is it. We've got to, we're paying on the gate today a bit rare for us we don't normally pay on the gate but here we go on to kennywood kangaroo right then so we're inside the park i must say that was probably the funniest entrance experience i've ever had into a into a theme park so we went up to the ticket booth and obviously when you're using your card you put your pin in don't you like your security pin so i, I said they said like wait for the green light and i put my card in to pay and it said enter pin so i started to enter my pin he then told me to stop entering my pin and just to wait and press the green button even though i'd not entered my pin and then it didn't work he then said do it again and we said we you know we've got foreign cards we need to put our pin in so we put our pin in and then it worked he goes, he goes no no don't put your pin in just put your press the green button and i said sure don't press the green button press the green button <laughs> oh, and the, the, the same thing happened to my window so i got there and i said i just want to buy a day's admission please she says are you ex-armed forces or retired military i'm like so we've had quite a funny entrance no. experience but we're in I'm great. It's great to be here. I'm happy to be here, but oh, it's a bit of a funny experience. I, know, I, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of old staff work in this entrance. I was a bit worried that I've never seen a chip and pin before. I was like, <laughs> that's that's why we pay online normally. <laughs> yeah, so so maybe we need, maybe we need to pay at the gate more often to get oh, more funny that moments. That I don't know. <laughs> we're in. Right, we've got six operational roller coasters here today. However, we've got two so rides that, well, we've got one SBNO and one that's Test under them. construction. Yep. Steel Curtain, I've spoke about it a lot on the channel and it looks absolutely incredible in pictures. I tell you what, wait till you see it in person. It does not look incredible. It looks absolutely outstanding, to be honest. Driving down here, I'm gutted that we're not gonna get to ride it. Uh, we've also got this coaster just behind me here that is SBNO, it's not new, but they have announced that it's gonna be reopening very, very soon. So we're missing that today. We knew that that was gonna be shut. It's been shut for a long time. We're talking like a couple of years. 2017. 2017, like. So since, yes, like May 2017, so it's been pretty much two years. It's like it's Skyrocket 1, I think, isn't it? It's the original Skyrocket yeah. by Premier. Um, it's just been shut. Apparently it's been too much to open it back up or they needed a part. And the park has said that it's going to be open for this summer but it's obviously delayed still and they keep delaying the opening now no one's even sure if it's just going to open again but the was. park have said it is opening yeah, so. I, saw, I saw a bunch of things online that they said it was going to reopen this summer for the fans with steel curtain too but nope well hopefully we're going to see steel curtain testing i mean the track was finished literally a week ago at the time of recording and yeah like we're expecting to see some testing i'll tell you what this is a very weird entrance experience i like it though i want to add to this as well and by saying that sean for you and i this is now the third incarnation of thomas land we're going to be experiencing <laughs> the today. we're in thomas town today though not thomas, thomas land. town honestly i feel like looking at this map here there's a lot of nothingness around the edge and currently we're under a road we've already paid to get in we're now on the road and then you come out into the theme street and it's like you're in that's it Bill, thank i you. am really getting blackpool pleasure beach vibes here today and we're going to be getting a lot of those throughout the day as you're going to find out when we do some different rides and not just the coasters a couple of other bits here as well that may remind you of old pleasure beach it is i mean gutted but there we go like i said we've got six operational coasters to get on let's go for it welcome to kennywood wow look at steel curtain that looks absolutely incredible and here we go we got a test we've got a test train on steel curtain here we go Oh wow, straight in, we're gonna see this baby running. Oh, that was perfect timing. Here we go, Steel Curtain, the new ride built by SNS. Nine inversions, more than any other coaster in North America. Oh 
Oh, wow. This thing only started testing literally a few days ago. Wow. I tell you what, it looks really nice and smooth. Really nice train design on there as well. Kind of reminds me of like a hyper coaster train from BNM. Look, look at first glance. There you go. Absolutely good. We're not getting to ride that today, but I'm glad we're seeing it testing. What a beauty. Hopefully, we'll get some more footage from other places later. Loving the feel of this park so far. Look at this, some sort of show going on. Noah's Ark up there on the side, and that one's actually open. Look at that. Here we go. So this coaster that we're going on first, very, very iconic. Uh, really looking forward to riding it. Owned in 1991, built by Aerodynamics. And what made this coaster special was the fact that it was originally called Steel Phantom, and it had four inversions on there. And then I think it was in year 2000, am I right in thinking, Brett? Year 2000. Yeah, I'm not too, too sure, around about that point though. The inversions were removed, yeah. they increased the drop, and more, it was Morgan that came in and did the work uh, on the ride. And this is very, very iconic. Um, so I can't wait to give it a ride. It might not be a really, really old ride compared to the wooden coasters here, but it's iconic for different reasons and that first drop. But yeah, they made that massive decision to remove all the inversions from the ride and extend the drop. So yeah, I mean, what an interesting move. But that's kind of what's made it iconic. This ride has had so much change in so little time, really. I'll tell you what though, look at this. It's a nice part, this. Thunderbolts, Kennywood. Look at all the banners around the park. It says who owns this park now. It's actually owned by Parks Renados or something like that. That's how I pronounce it. Something along those lines. Yeah, our pronunciation's like, uh, especially after the Europe trip that I recently did. Um, but yeah, it's actually owned by that company, like a Spanish company. So it used to be family owned and they took it over quite a few years back now. It's always a shame when family owned parks do get took over by these bigger corporations. Uh, but here we go. We got, we, got, we got past it. What's that? We're going back there. We're getting that lost in the moment, Brett. We can't really help ourselves. We're just kind of walking. I, actually, I thought we had the Enterprise close today. It turns out it's this thing. Oh, there we go. Look at this though. Very, very nice feel. Not too busy today. Well, let's go and have a ride on this iconic beast. I've just got that huge grin on my face right now, walking down this queue line. I've wanted to ride this thing for so long. It's just such an iconic coaster and this drop round here. I remember there being some big arguments over, you know, is this actually the tallest drop on a steel coaster in some, like back in the day? And all the parts were claiming they had the record and here was saying they had it. It's caused a lot of arguments. I, 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 honestly, it's such an iconic ride. Look at this view. It's been a lot of different theme park documentaries. Oh yeah. All right, it's got some speed, this thing. And here we go, straight to the station. All loose articles must either be secured or left with a non-rider. Oh yes, look at that. Look at the restraints as well, it's a little lap bar. Love it. Let's go and have a ride and we'll see when we come off. Absolutely incredible. That was so much more than what I was expecting. And I was going in there 
with really high expectations. I loved that. I mean, it was the fact that the train design was so, you were so exposed going around on that ride. Like you had a little seat belt, there's a little lap bar that comes down across you uh, and nothing else. Like, honestly, that was incredible. Of course, climbing up the lift hill, that first drop, which was quite intense at the bottom, straight into a straight section, but heading up and then down the main part of the ride, which is that 228 feet drop uh, off the side of the hill. Honestly, that was amazing. Like, I, I love that. Um, so much airtime, especially towards the end of it as well. Uh, the airtime was incredible on them bunny hills. So glad they took out the inversions there. Of course, I would have loved to have tried the original, but I heard that it was quite rough. They were having issues with the speed uh, on there, and obviously it had the over-the-shoulder restraints. So that now is just a perfect family coaster, and it is ridiculously smooth. I absolutely love that. So glad that we got to ride it. And this park is really, really nice. I mean, it's got that classic Pleasure Beach feel. And I wish I'd come here like years ago when it was still owned by a family. You know, I love them family-owned parks. Um, it's got a great feel to it. People sing along, loving the music. Proper traditional amusement park. I mean, Go on. all I've got to say is, I've got an arrow slash Morgan that's going into my top 20 coasters. Yeah, uh, that, that was excellent. It's certainly my favourite arrow slash Morgan coaster I've done, to be honest. I really, really, really enjoyed that. Great fun. Didn't really need inversion as much as I know they were taken out because there's some really snappy airtime moments in there. You actually feel like you're going to fall out. It's, it, there's some really sharp turns on that ride. I loved it and that drop down, wow, that was insane. That's the famous drop, that second one off the That's side of the hill. Incredible, because you don't see it and then suddenly it's there in front of you and you're already racing down it. Even when you're on the back row, it's snappy. You're like, whoa, oh my goodness. And what a great start for the park. Wow, oh, I love it. Hardcore wood running over our head right You now. enjoy that, Brett? really good. Those are some of the, the nicest restraints I've ever been on. It was just like when you're on the swimming board and you have one of those doodle floats. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's classic Woody. They weren't, they were checking the restraints amazing. Make sure you had your seatbelt on and just give it one click. Nothing extreme. How a ride like that should be ran. And it rode amazing. It was silky smooth, good layout, tons of airtime, and just what you're looking for in your main coaster the park. And the views as well were amazing from that, the views of the area. You can't ride this coaster if you're single. What's that? You can't ride this coaster if you're single. You must have a riding partner, so we've got a riding partner who's coming to join us, a fan of the channel is coming on for a ride with us, so let's go for it. Thunderbolt on next, second coaster of six operational coasters. was really good fun, a great roller coaster that was originally known as Pippin and was built in 1924. Uh, and then some changes were made in the 60s. Uh, we reopened in 68 as Thunderbolts and they added to the layout and did a lot of work on it. Uh, but yeah, I must say that was really enjoyable. What I liked about that as well, you were straight out of the station uh, and then down into a drop and, and then another one before coming round into the lift hill uh, that took you up before the rest of the layout. Really nice and of course with that ride, You've got to have two riders, like we said before we went on. Uh, stay next to a fan of the channel, lovely lady. So hi out there to you if you're watching. And uh, yeah, on that, uh, you really get pushed into the side. Some brilliant laterals on there. Some nice drops. And I must say, it was very, very comfortable and very smooth. And um, you can tell it's been well looked after that ride over the years. And uh, yeah, in terms of the padding on the seats, it was lovely all the way round. For anybody who's a taller rider, uh, you've got like some knee pads in front. Really smooth, I mean, I love the Blackpool wooden coasters. That was a lot smoother and a lot more enjoyable. But yeah, there you go, a bit of uh, Thunderbolt action. This park is absolutely lovely. I mean, so pretty here, isn't it? Sorry, I've just been with the Magic, uh, the magic Mushroom. Uh, do you want to come and see? Yeah, let's have a little look. Magic Mushroom, what's up? It's a drinking fountain. Hey, How is that? that's very magical. <laughs> Great, I think that's what everybody wanted to see. What do you think to that classic Woody though? That was nice, I it thought. It was a very nice Woody. And the fact that it was old and 
It reminded me of like the Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, you know, that kind of sound of like the train chain clinks and hearing the wood infrastructure actually yeah. creaking as you're traveling around. Classic. Like a British Woody, but I mean, it had its own little American twist on there. I really like the train design as well, very old school. It was comfortable, wasn't it? Very nice ride. Um, I think this park so far has kind of shown that, you know, even old things can look pretty if presented well, maintained, and some people do just like those classic looks of dark. I mean, I love this place. Places. We've just been in the restaurant behind you there, the Parkside Cafe, and how nice was it? Uh, it was like being in a school canteen, the meal. Yeah. It kind of came with a plate and you had a little, uh, little bit of mashed potato with gravy in it. And stuff. it was a nice. proper plate as well. We've not had that this trip, have we, yeah. you know? Uh, but like, look at this, it's, like, it's gorgeous, you got all the music playing around, all like, the little lights and stuff in the ceiling in there. It's a great park, it's a shame we're not really on full form. And now I never thought I'd say this Sean, so we are two, over two weeks now into this trip, it's been going really well so far. However, Brett, who's been with us for just a few days, has just confirmed to me, this is breaking news, that we're going to go and do a dark ride now, Sean and I, but Brett is off on medical ground. He's not. He's had to just go to the toilets down there, he's not feeling too well, and he's going to buy himself a t-shirt and have 10 minutes just to rest his head. He is not feeling good. And he's only been here like five days and he's struggling. He's so, done more than five days, he's done a, week, he's done a, a week, week and a half nearly. It's been about a week, it's been about a week, but he's feeling a little bit off, and that's the thing, in this soaring heat, you're doing roller coasters, you're walking around, and plus a lack of sleep. It's quite challenging, but Sean, we're gonna carry, start as we mean to go We've on. gotta carry on. I mean, with this park, it's open until 10 o'clock this evening. I would love to stay until 10 o'clock and see it at night. We're just gonna see how it goes in terms of, we've only got four more coasters to get. There's so much more here than the coasters, and we wanna try and see everything, but we don't know if we're gonna stay right until the end tonight, um, because, yeah, it, we've got a long drive up to Canada. We've got a five hour drive tonight, so it's beginning what we can. Here we go, so we've got a historic landmark. 1898, like Baron. There we go. Amazing. Historic landmark, Kennywood yeah. Park Casino. Historic, historic landmarks in this park though. I am a bit confused though with the dates of this park because all the information that I've done and read, it says the park opened in 1899. It says that online, everywhere. However, there's a few bits and also on the staff uniform, it says 1898. So I assume that is correct, 1898. But so. online everywhere it says 1899. I think so maybe you know you've got to consider that Alton Towers as much as as a theme park. It's only been there for around about 40 years. It has other, other operational amusements and things in there. Maybe as a contained park environment. That's well, this is an old trolley park, park, isn't it? So it is. so that's probably what it is. You know, it's had a, the site's had a lot of uses for leisure over the years. But uh, yeah, we've got some sort of ride around here that we're going to do. Some sort of dart ride, I think. So let's go and have a look. Here we are then, welcome to Ghostwood Estate. We've done two coasters, got a fresh meal, do a bit of a dark ride. This has some lovely food actually. So we'll have a bit, let that go down before we do another classic wooden coaster. And uh, yeah, here we go. Don't really know exactly what to expect. Some sort of ride system that we can see above us. I think it's an interactive ride from what I've seen. So one feeling is, this maybe used to be non-interactive and then they, they changed it over the years, I would say. So don't really know what to expect. Let's go on and find out. Welcome, welcome to Korean. I've been waiting for you. Please gather around so everyone can hear. Welcome guests to Ghostwood Estate. My name is Lord Kenneth Ghostwood, and I built this house as a refuge for myself centuries ago. After my death, many other occupants have come, but none have left. The house is now extremely overcrowded with spirits, and I desperately need your help to get rid of them. Really good start there with a very high quality pre-show. And here we go. Fan of interactive dart rides, but it's quite a good gun system here. Scored us on the side. Quite easy to hit the targets and they flash as well. 
Oh, creepy. Phantom t-shirt there, love that. I must say we got a great ride system here, a trackless ride system, so certainly uh, wasn't just a re-theme. We have definitely updated this. That's if there was something here before. I don't really know. back out the door outside wow that was really really high quality probably one of the best interactive shooting dart rides i've ever been on that so we've done three different attractions so far here at kennywood and all of them have been absolutely fantastic. An awesome steel coaster, an awesome wooden roller coaster, and an awesome dart ride. I'm very impressed so far. That's great. The quality of things here is brilliant. I mean, neither of us were expecting that, were we? Being pre-show, technically a trackless dart ride, great animatronics, shooting ride that we came off and we actually thought, you know what? We enjoyed we it. Like it. Yeah. Well, I just really enjoyed that. that. How good was the theming in there? Incredible, though? incredible. Quite really scary really for kids, some of the scenes going oh, on yeah. in there. But there was stuff to look at everywhere. It reminded me a little bit of the haunting of Drake Manor when we first walked in with the yeah. police show, looking at the painting. And then off into the ride, outside into the outdoor station, and then the pleasant surprise just kept on coming with that ride. Really, really good. It was good. brilliant. I mean, it was quite a nice length to it as well, about five minutes. That was excellent. I'm loving the park so far. Let's carry on, do some more rides. Oh, oh. What an amazing vibe there is in this park and some really nice landscaping around, loads of flat rides. And up next, we're going on Jack Rabbit. 1920, they've just built. John Miller, looking forward to giving this a ride. Rabbit, 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 rabbit it on. Here we go, let's go and have a ride. Got quite a queue line for this one. Yeah, look at the train design on this, 1920. Of course, John Miller's known for designing a lot of different classic wooden coasters. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a ride. Oh, to be honest, it's quieter than when we walked past earlier. It was all the way down the back here. Oh, look at this. Find the wordy jack. And don't you roll back no more, no more. Let's no go. More. All the way down there in the wilderness. Here we go. Jack Rabbit, coaster number three of six. I'm just saying this, but again, another absolutely awesome ride. That was amazing, wasn't it? That was incredible. Oh, and, and look at this, he's got he's got a nice t-shirt. I've had such a good day, I thought I'd buy a t-shirt. Which way is it to Kennywood though? Uh, 
both ways. Oh, I thought it was that, it was that way, yeah. That, that way. Great ride, well, tell you what, Jack Rabbit, how awesome was that? 99 oh. years old. Blimey. That double down, wow. I mean, there's literally no restraint. It just stays in the same spot. It doesn't yeah. lower. And the seatbelt, they didn't even like tighten the seatbelt. They just no, left. Nice and it loose. Was. And we just went flying on that double down. I mean, Some of the best air time I've ever had. Probably, so, yeah, one of the best airtime moments on a coaster I've ever had for sure. It's just a classic with the best airtime moment of all time, which has always helped. That was absolutely phenomenal. Wow. And again, much like uh, with Thunderbolt, you're not straight out into the lift. You do a, you know, a drop, a little indoor section, another drop that takes you into the lift. That was excellent. I mean, I can't believe that thing's 99 years old. And next year, the big 100 for Jack Rabbit. Wow. Uh, well, no, that was brilliant. Of course, the highlight there, like Brett said, that double dip was absolutely incredible. Uh, like, we flew out of our seats on the back. So comfortable. We waited five minutes for it. I, I'm not complaining. I'm loving it here. I think you said they've redone the trains on it too, didn't you? Yeah, you definitely tell all the padding on there have been replaced probably for this year, to be honest. It looked absolutely awesome. Let's continue then with another classic wooden coaster. It's Racer. This is a Mobius Loop, so uh, it's a racing ride, much like the Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't class as two credits because it's a Mobius. How good was that? Jack, 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 Jack Rabbit was amazing. That, that yeah. double dip though. 99 years old, that thing. What a beast. What an amazing roller coaster that is. This is like our beloved Pleasure Beach, isn't it? Oh, it is. I love Pleasure Beach. But Kennywood, you are equally as beautiful. One of my favourite parts of the trip, hands down. I'm loving this place. But yeah, look at this, old Danny Q. Let's go on Racer. So here we go, this was built in 1927. And look at this, like the look of the start here, straight down underneath the exit ramp just there. Yeah, 1927, it's another John Miller. What a legend for building some absolutely awesome rides. A very well-known name in the amusement park industry. And here we go, the Kennywood Racer. Of course, if you don't really know what a Mobius Loop is, you return on the other side, basically. So uh, even though you've only, you're gonna do half of the coaster effectively, and then you go around on the other side and do the other half of the coaster. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Can't wait for this one, looking forward to it. Right then, so we've just been on Racer. Again, a nice five minute wait for that one. And I enjoyed it. I, I would say that that is my least favorite of the coasters what I've done here so far. However, it was a nice design. Got some really nice laterals on that going into the corners. And uh, yeah, in terms of some of the drops and stuff on there, they were really nice. And uh, got a massive bit of ejector air time again on uh, one of the drops on that. I would take my beloved Grand National back at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, as much as that is a lot rougher uh, and this is much smoother. The layout of the National is something quite special, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, that was a really enjoyable ride. My least favorite of the uh, codes is what I've done here so far. However, another old school Woody, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it here a lot. Really, really like it. Bit good we're missing out on two coasters, however, we were coming here expecting that. I did think when we booked the trip that we would get a steel curtain. However, as the construction phase uh, you know, went on, I knew that we wasn't gonna get it this trip. Maybe two months back, I looked at it and thought, there's a lot of work, a lot of testing, uh, and everything to be done. So I'm not too disappointed, because uh, this park isn't actually that far from Cedar Point. Because with this trip, the way we've done it, we sort of came up to Ohio, went back down, and we're making our way back up again now to go over to Canada. So we're actually like less than three and a half hours away from Cedar. So in the future, when I go back to Cedar, maybe next year, I'll come down here and ride Steel Curtain and do a full day here. Uh, with us having such a drive tonight, we're gonna leave early, uh, but I'd like to come back in the future. But yeah, that was a really nice ride, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. What do you think to that then, Brett? Yeah, really, another good ride. I mean, uh, clearly it's the weakest coaster we've done so far. Yeah. But considering it's so old, they've really maintained these things. It's unbelievable. I mean, they're smooth. But... Um, it's just so fun going on a ride with no air gates. We quite enjoy yeah, that. It's... just going where they want. And you said it just about re-rideable coasters. Yeah. Everything we've done like, is re-rideable yeah, here. It's probably the first part of the trip where we're getting off coasters and we're like, should we do it again or should we go do other stuff? Like, I want to re-ride everything here today before we leave, you know. Yeah, we've still got a couple of coasters left. Is it two? Yeah, we got a kids coaster and an indoor revision yeah. spinner. Which I've heard is quite good, one of the best of those kinds. So, mm. I mean, it's a great park, I'd recommend anyone. I mean, it doesn't look too much online and stuff, but once you get here, oh, it's, it's incredible. Like, from outside, I, it, I don't think it looks that good, but when you get in here, yeah. it's amazing. 
Uh, but yeah, look at this. I mean, I'm good, we're not riding it, but look at the scale of this thing. The fact that Kennywood's going out there though and doing more inversions than any other coaster in the States, yeah. that's going to put them back on the map, hopefully. I mean, it's, sort of, it's sort of what Pleasure Beach did in terms of the Pleasure Beach hadn't had a big ride in years and this park hasn't had a coaster since 2010. This is their icon, this isn't is it, really? icon, really, to say, right, we're back on the map. Big steel coaster. Big, big statement for the park. I, I, I love it and this looks fantastic. Was hoping to see some more testing, but we did see it once earlier on. Anything's possible, we might see it again later on. Yeah, look at this, absolutely huge. Of course, the lift hill makes its way down into that inversion, straight down the drop here, into various other weird elements on the ride. Nine inversions, absolutely incredible. Wow. Can't wait to see this thing ruin again, hopefully later on. Right then, so we're in the queue for our next coaster. Hopefully we're gonna to get to ride this. It's Lil Phantom. So looking forward to it. Opened in 1996. It's got the Little Phantom. Little, little, little Phantom. Little, little Phantom. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be a good ride, but I mean, you wanted me to talk about the race of ride we just did. Um, obviously it's a lot like Grand Nationals, I'm sure you've already mentioned. I've got to come, I came off that, I was slightly disappointed. I mean, I thought it was quite tame, it probably my least favourite coaster on the park so far, I mean, honestly. Look at this one, there's time for that. In terms of the majors though. The major coaster, it's the weakest for me, but it's not a bad coaster nonetheless, I think it's still got some good moments to it. It just, I think it lacks the intensity that some of the other um, major, fruit, major fruit ones have got. Um, I just, I don't know. I felt like it was business time. I spent more time looking at the steel curtain the construction side. I think I did focus on the rise, maybe another ride later on might just... I think everything's quite re-rideable here though, isn't it? That's so what definitely. me and Brett were saying. It's a, it's a really pleasant park to be at. It's, it's got that Blackpool Pleasure Beach vibe that we keep talking about. It's also got that very much American music park feel too. Kind of like the best of both worlds, I think. It's really nice. Yeah, it, it's lovely, it really is. Hopefully we're going to be able to ride this. I mean, if I look at the board, it doesn't say that you need a kid. So hopefully we can get this credit. And that means we've just got one more cred to get for this trip anyway, next time we come, technically we'll have two different coasters to get on. So obviously we'll have that premiere to get on. Whoa, noisy lift. And also Steel Curtain, the s, &S. we go, our fifth coaster of the day. Enjoy that. That's right of the day. Little Phantom. Looks it. Oh yeah, well, li li Lil Phantom. Lil Phantom. Lil, 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 Lil Phantom. Yeah. Loads of little kids rides around here though. We'll have a look in Thomas later on. The, what's it called, Thomas Town. Thomas Town. Yeah, have a look in Thomas Town later. Very, very nice park. Very family park. Loads of rides for the kids. Loads of old classics down here as well. And some more newer rides. Yes, yeah, got one more coat to get. Yeah, he's loving the music. That t-shirt really suits you though, Brett. I'm gonna get the yellow version of that, basically. All I can say is any t-shirt fits me, mate. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, that oh, we, 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 we're gonna miss him, right? we're gonna miss him. I'm not. Let's go. Right then, so just before we go and do our final credit of the day, we thought we're gonna have to come and check this out whilst we walk past it. Look at this, it's the classic Noah's Ark. I'm looking forward to this. Here we go, we get entering here through the whale. Wow. I tell you what, this is bringing back some memories. Ready to go? It's bringing back those Pleasure Beach memories. Now, the park actually took this whale entrance out, I believe, and then they redid it. So it's had quite a bit of refurbishment done to it in here. Feels very, very modern, doesn't it? Very fresh. No! Here we go. Of course, Blackpool Pleasure Beach has still got its Noah's Ark attraction above the entrance, and it still does rock back and forward. However, unfortunately, you can't go in there anymore. Wow. Look at this.
Wow, this feels really, really weird being next to this. Coming to see this attraction was actually one of my most anticipated moments of the trip. And that may seem really strange to some people, but these memories, childhood memories of Blackpool Pleasure Beach swaying back and forwards on Noah's Art. Look at this. At least Pleasure Beach have kept theirs moving as well. It's just a shame we can't go up there anymore. It really is. Real piece of history right here. strange walking down all these steps whilst it's moving crazy isn't it all that memories from Blackpool honestly I love it so much what an attraction some of these rooms but it's still got that nice charm to it it really has especially walking through the arc itself They loved Noah's Art there. Such a nice traditional attraction, bringing back them wonderful memories. Very, very nice in there. Uh, quite a few differences actually between that and the old Blackpool Noah's Ark. Uh, and with that one, they've certainly done some upgrades in there. Uh, some of them scenes, especially with the ultraviolet lighting and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Great to get in there. A huge bucket list thing for me to do at the park. Final coaster here that we're going to be riding today. And that is Exterminator, a 1999 Revision spinning coaster. And this is themed to like a, a factory that's been overrun by mice and they're all being exterminated. That's what we've got going on here. And look at this. Exterminate. So yeah, with this, it's actually all indoors in a big show building. And I have seen a bit about this and I'm looking forward to it. But unfortunately, the tunnel closed. Oh dear, no access. Tunnel's closed. I don't think we should be going down here. I mean, neither do I, but Brett's the one leading the way. I smell that, don't you? Brett's gonna get in trouble. It's all right, which way is it? Just point me which way it is. It's universal, safety glasses are required. Oh, no screens here, Brett, no screens here. Let's go. We've got a few. Oh, oh my God. Always a good half an hour, this. Rubbish and spinner. Right then, enjoyed that ride there on Exterminator. That was really good fun. Standard layout, rubbish and spinning coaster. But it was good in there, quite a lot of theming around. Some nice lighting, special effects, audio. Whee! Now we've come round 
Rhino really nice Classic. We're on the whip. Another Pleasure Beach ride that unfortunately did get removed from the park. Love these. Yeah. On the whip. It's actually located in the building where the Dodgems are now at Pleasure Beach. Yeah, Exterminator was good fun. Quite a lot to look at around the ride. Oh, I'm loving this park. Kennywood Park, everybody. Kennywood Kangaroo. Where is he? We need to see him. Yeah. What a classic. Park Classic, still operating well, here at Kennywood, wow, oh I love the whip there, that was absolutely awesome, a nice classic and uh, yeah you don't see many of those around anymore, that was the first time that Brett yeah. had actually been on the whip, I've always wanted to do one of those and the fact that they've got one in this park was Special, it was just whipping round, wasn't it? That yeah, whipping one. round on the two yeah, corners. No, that was that was probably my favourite flat of the whole trip. I'm honest, just yeah. the nostalgia part of it, and just I've just wanted to be going one for a while. I finally, get on one is really special. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving this park. I mean, we've got yeah. some great heritage parks coming up on the rest of this trip. Knobles, we're going to be going to. I uh, can't wait to go on flying turns, and also as well Coney Island. Um, so yeah, two more really classic parks to get to uh, on this trip. Unfortunately. Brett isn't going to be with us for those, but Sorry, mate. you'll see Brett again soon. Yeah. Like we've done quite a bit together now. Yeah, yeah. He'll be back at some point, and we'll do some more definitely. Sure. But so uh, that was good whip, that wasn't it? The whip, love the nae nae, absolutely amazing. The nae nae, great, great, that was right. great. In terms of coasters, we're all done now for today. We've got a few different flats to do. I'll put some more off-ride footage in. Uh, we're gonna have another go on Phantom's Revenge. Uh, I'm gonna go on there and uh, tr maybe try a bit further towards the front. I'm loving this park. Some great quality rides and attractions. The dark ride was really good. Some great flags, great food, great atmosphere, brilliant wooden coasters, and an excellent steel coaster. And that's without uh, us, us doing the other two steel coasters. Um, so yeah, I look forward to coming back here in the future. Probably will be next year, I'm back at this park. And I'll tie it in with a few others and go back to Cedar Point. Such a fantastic variety of rides here at Kennywood. Got a nice Music Express there on the right hand side. The big pirate ship there on the left. And we just had another awesome ride on Phantom's Revenge that was absolutely incredible. Feels like it's warmed up even more from this morning. I am loving this park. So much here, so much to look around. It's not a massive park, but it's a great park. Got a little 4D cinema over there as well. San Andreas, oh no, not the San Andreas 4D experience. Bad memories from when I went to Gardaland earlier in the year and saw that. Wasn't great. And Thomas and friends, you don't want to get the two movies mixed up with your kids though, do you? Oh really? no, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got to have a ride on there. You've got an Enterprise on the left too. Enterprise down there, Zampola Disco. Well, that's quite a nice theme, Volcano. I've only ever done one of these. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna have a ride on Bayon. Really? 
really good ride there on the Bayern curve. Like I say, I've done one of those before, a uh, fair that I went to once, and I must say, they are a fantastic rides. It was a long time ago since I went on one of them. It's great to give it another go. Anyway, I just thought we'd come down and look at the uh, Skyrocket just here again. We walked past it earlier, so we'll have a bit more of a look at the layout. Quite sad that we're not getting this, but like we say, it's been closed for a good couple of years. It's very strange because to me, I don't know much about rounds, this is coming up 10 years old. It looks like it's been repainted. Like it looks very fresh. It looks like they're getting ready to reopen it. Like, the, the park have said they are really hoping to get this back open this year, yeah, so. It looks great. I mean, it looks like a little. The layout looks long, really long good, like three inversions on here as well. Uh, I think it looks fantastic. I'm really hoping to get on it in the future. I mean, it's a good coaster ride, so it'd be. The fact it's so close to the entrance area as well. It's, it's, it's an eyesore right now, isn't it? Yeah, with it not operating, but this is like the entrance area normally here, all the queue line. Obviously the station area just up there to the right. We had a little look at it. Obviously it's got that launch, which I imagine is quite snappy really to get it to the top there. There you go, a little look at it. We're off to do another, I think it's mostly a, a, a dart ride and a bit of a boat ride put together. I'm not 100% too sure, but it's down this way to the right somewhere. So that's where we're going to have a look. You see there as well, VIP coaster tours, what they do. Ah, here we go. It's the boat ride. It's literally just here. So the entrance maybe just down there on the right. Here we go. You see there's a little water wheel out the front. Have a little walk down there as well. I think that takes you just down to the end of the park. Oh, yes. Look at this classic. Sit in this little boat just here and go on a little journey. Oh, yeah. So it's a bit of boat ride, bit of dart ride all together. It's got no queue anyway, let's go. This was really cute. It has got a little bit of a queue actually. It's Garfield's Nightmare. So here we go, don't really know what to expect. It looks very homemade though, doesn't it? Look at this. I do know that the ride is powered by the water wheel, which is pretty cool. There we are, fascinating fact there. There we go, a little bit of a history on that. There we are. Originally built in 1901, but completely reconstructed in 1926. The old mill has gone through several name changes, being called Garfield's Nightmare since 2004. So we've got a very, very old ride here. Let's go on board, take you along. Right then, off we go. Don't really know what to expect here at all. However, we have been given da, 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 some wonderful glasses. The right. Oh yeah, operator. Right. Look at these glasses. What an old classic. Oh. Say what the. Welcome oh. to Garfield's nightmare. A nightmare from which you may never awake. This is the most frightening adventure you will ever be on. Unless you have cheese. I like cheese. So give me some cheese and dog. Oh, uh, hi there. <laughs> uh, enjoy your ride. Right, okay. So everything's sticking out on the walls because of the glasses. Here's a little look. Sponsored by Pepsi. Sorry, the glass are a bit dirty. I never met an ice cream truck I didn't like. I never met an ice cream truck I didn't like. Or live. There's something weird about that ice cream Mayo bed. The favorite snack of the string. It's a bit creepy this, isn't it? Uh, I'm scared of the Teensy Weezy Spider. Uh, I'm scared of the Teensy Weezy Spider. 
scared of the Gigi Luigi Spider. It's not quite the same quality as the uh, other dark ride that we did earlier on today. Obviously this ride system is quite good for its age, which is the theming really. I imagine it's probably a lot better with the old mill theme that it used to have. Probably more of a Wild West style theme, I imagine. I can see where Symbolica got its inspiration. <laughs> Somebody call the smoke Somebody call her a stunt cat. Oh, no. Why do I have this? Oh, baby, they don't. They don't choose one. Why do I have this uneasy feeling that I push the pizza guy and they don't choose one? What the hell? Look at this girl. Why do I have this uneasy This is definitely one of the weirdest dart rides I've ever been on. Very, very strange. It's not quite the river caves. I always say, Yeah, it's a big sausage. Oh my god, I love that big sausage. It's quite a long ride. Just make sure that you remove your glasses so we can sell you your photo, okay? Just make sure you do that. So we've just come off Garfield. And I imagine that with that being such an old ride and it used to be called the Old Mill, that used to have some really good theming in there. And the exterior looks great with the water wheel. However, I think they've just messed up the inside really there. I bet it used to be something quite special, a bit like the old gold mine from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but I set you on water. That's what I'm imagining anyway with that. Do you ever wake up some mornings and just think to yourself, why did I bother? Yeah, that's how I feel with that one. That's the weakest ride in the park for me. I, feel I like the history of the boat ride and the fact that it's so old, but yeah, the theming in there, not great. It was quite funny though, we had a good laugh in there, really laughed. What the <laughs> hell? I'm talking about having a good laugh. I've got a little friend for you in here. I want you all to come and see. Now, she's a big fan of theme park worldwide. She loves watching the vlogs. I'm going to introduce you now to Alex's new girlfriend. Oh my God. He's been keeping her under wraps for quite a while. Secret. Uh, and here she is. Laughing cell, everybody. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I mean, Alex, how do you feel with your new lady? She's laughing at you. <laughs> laughing cell, everybody. So, whilst we were over at Alex's girlfriend there, laughing cell, he's just spied something. Look at this in the back of the arcade. We've got a nice model there, a steel curtain. Look at that. I mean, I really feel like that needs to be more on show than just chucked up there on top of a shelf in an arcade. That needs to be in like a cabinet. All right, that's great publicity. Look at that. A few other bits up there, a few old props and arcade machines. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's crazy. What a waste having that up there. Can't believe it. Good spot there, Alex. Oh, I used to love these. It needs to be a bit more central. It needs to be on display, like. That's great. Oh, <laughs> I used to love these. I used to play on these at Butlins all the time. I used to love them. Never used to win though. I used to like the one where I put, put the ball in the old. There was one here. Have you got one in here? Uh, What's he going on about? What's he doing? Oh, yeah, he's dropping down. It's out of action, I think. Just another incredible ride then on Jack Rabbit. Absolutely amazing there on the back row. Honestly, that airtime is one of the best airtime moments you can ever have on a ride that. 
loved it. Uh, following on from that, I had another go on Racer as well uh, and tried out the other side, so to speak. I know it's a Mobius loop, but technically you only have like half of the coaster layout, so we decided to do the other side and uh, went right out of the station. Uh, but next up, we're going on another flat ride, Aero 360. Can I give this one a go? What I really like about this is it's got the Kennywood logo on the side, it's got like them arrows. I don't really enjoy these rides that much. Um, although we've got to go on it and give it a go, haven't we? Uh, it's quite good if you can get on the front uh, or the back, you know, so you get a decent view. So there's some more testing taking place as well on Steel Curtain. Uh, really hoping that it goes again so I can get it more from this angle. Uh, but it looks really impressive. I'll definitely be back in the near future uh, to give that one a ride. Uh, but yeah, there's some really good quality rides at this park. You've got to think once curtains open and hopefully they get the launch coaster back in action, they'll have a really, really solid coaster lineup uh, here at this park. vlog here from Kennywood Park today. Like we said earlier on, the park is open until 10 p.m. this evening. We've got a bit of entertainment kicking in there and I think this park will come alive even more at night. However, we've done all the major things. We're only missing a couple of smaller bits and uh, yeah, we are going to leave shortly after doing a couple more re-rides on some things. Uh, we're still coming to Thomas Town. Let's come have a little look around. We've got to, haven't we? I'm the third carnation of it now. I mean, I think that's all the Thomas areas we've done. Is it cranky? Hey, Cranky Crane. Oh, wow, he moves. Oh, that's really cool. Come on, Drayton, man. What are you messing at? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So I believe this train has been here for quite a long time. And then they just re-themed it in with Thomas. From oh, here we go. Eric. He's off. I like how it's a little outdoor bit there as well. You've got obviously a disabled platform there at the front. 
Very nice. Yeah, there is a rapids here as well at the park. However, I'm not going to give it a go because I don't want to get soaked before getting back into the car, before we do this near six hour drive up to Canada. I'll be back at this park probably next year when I come to Cedar Point. So I'll spend a full day here then uh, and do even more. But we certainly had a good day today seeing everything what this park has got to offer in terms of uh, all the different areas and we've walked around it all. Rapids do look all right actually, good into in Rapids. Thomas Music. Diesel drivers over here. Cool, isn't it? Of fans very support and things down here too. Oh yeah, look at that. Really cool, all the way down there look. Really nice little touch, isn't it that? I mean this park, now they've got this IP that only opened I think last year and they're, they're putting in that beast. I believe that like, was the expansion for this year, just that little courtyard there. Yeah. This was the Thomas area until that was built. So. Like that, in two years, that's two massive things, isn't it? In terms What's of bringing people tree, in. Trees and gaps out Massive that. family investment, massive thrill investment. I can see Kennywood really getting back on the map with the two things, what they've done. So certainly very exciting. But yeah, we're gonna do a couple more re-rides. Gonna get a bit of merchandise. And that'll be the end of our trip here to Kennywood. A bit good about leaving early, but I'm happy that we've seen things. We've done re-rides on everything that we've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in the not so distant future. Another fantastic ride there on Thunderbolt. Still, we've got to have another go on that. Have a couple of rides on it today. And you know what? I'm really pleased with what we've seen here today at Kennywood Park. I've absolutely loved this place. And I know there's a few more rides that we haven't done. I would have done the rapids, a few more of the flat rides around. Uh, but I'm really pleased with everything that we've seen. You've got to think about tomorrow. We've got a big day at Canada's Wonderland. A lot of coasters to get in. If we stayed here until 10 o'clock, we wouldn't be getting to our hotel again until like five in the morning. And when we did that last night, we don't want to be doing that two nights in a row. Big day tomorrow, lots more rides to get on. We've seen pretty much everything here. We've done the major things that we really wanted to see. And uh, yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. As you can probably tell with that wonderful view behind me, we're doing one final ride on Phantom's Revenge to wrap up the day, have a look at the gift shop, get a bit of merch, and then we'll make our way out of the park. It's been absolutely wonderful. I've loved being here today and seeing it all. And look at these rides, absolutely awesome. Jack Rabbit, I really, really enjoyed the airtime on that. I really like the terrain feel of Thunderbolt. And of course, Phantom's Revenge is just such an iconic ride with that second drop down here. Uh, on the hillside. Then three rides from here are all incredible and it's been an absolutely wonderful day at the park. So we'll have this ride, head over to the gift shop, well, clear. go to the exit. Enjoy and your ride with Candle's Revenge. Just done an awesome last ride there on Phantom's Revenge. It was absolutely incredible. Look at this, all this merchandise. I mean, you know me, I love my theme bar merch. Look at this here. This is what I want, like a t-shirt with the logo on there with the arrow. But which way is Kennywood, do we know? <laughs> Thunderbolt there. Oh, I love it. All sorts of nice merch. There's also a huge mug collection in here as well. Yeah, I'm looking for something a bit like this. It needs to be a little bit larger than that for me though. Looking for a medium. Oh, there we go, that looks good. What we got size wise? Mm. Oh, I'm dropping them all. Oh, <laughs> let me just uh, pop that back. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was a bit fail, wasn't it? Jack Rabbit down there. Oh, yeah, Noah's Ark. Oh, I love it. There we are, don't stand up, always remain seated. What the hell is that? Stuff, isn't yeah. <laughs> What is that? Why are you picking it? He's picking his nose. Oh, we caught him at hey, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there. I caught him that. He's <laughs> picking his nose in the vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it back. Still, Colonel. I like the shirt, but unfortunately, you can't buy the shirt unless you've been on it. That's the rule. So there you go. Oh, love this. Them's the rules. Very nice. And we got some mugs over here as well. You know me. I love a good mug. Look at all these mugs over here. I'm a mug for mugs. Look at this. It's like the mini world of theme parks, isn't it? Which one do I get? Oh, just a standard Kennywood. I think maybe that one. 
Wow, anyone gonna get me merch? Make the way to the exit? And we'll wrap up the vlog. What an absolutely fantastic day we've had here at Kennywood, but you know what? I'm a little bit lost to wrap up the end of this vlog. I just need to know, like, um, which way is Kennywood? Hey, got a nice bit of merch, got a mug and a t-shirt. To be honest, I don't like the t-shirt that much, but I need to get one with the logo on. It says Kennywood's open, so yeah, when I find my way to Kennywood, I'll be absolutely fine. Well, there you go. What a day it's been here at this park. One of my favourite parks of the trip, right up there. Loved it. Bit going to be leaving early, but also we've seen pretty much everything at this park. There's a few bits that uh, that we haven't got to do that I would have liked to have done, such as the rapids. Uh, I would have done those, but I just didn't want to get absolutely soaked. Along with that as well, there's a few of the smaller flat rides and things. And of course, we missed two coasters, but we knew about that before coming. Next time I'm here, hopefully we'll get them two coasters. Uh, steel curtain from the testing today. Looks like it'll be a fantastic addition. Theme park worldwide on YouTube, check it out. I think that'll be a great addition here to this park. Of course, the launch coaster, it'd be nice to get that back open. Uh, but yeah, in terms of this park, I think it's lovely. It's quite a compact park, uh, but there's a lot packed into it. It. Biggest surprises for me today uh, were the Dark Ride and Jack Rabbit. Uh, they were my big surprises. Uh, however, my favourite rides here, definitely Phantom's Revenge. Really enjoyed that. Uh, Jack Rabbit, Rabbit again, I think that's brilliant. Um, yeah, I just very much enjoyed the, the amount of rides on offer. The three wooden coasters were great. I'd say Racer was my least favourite out of the three. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed Thunderbolt as well. Thought that was really good fun. Nice layout. Follows the terrain quite well. Staff have been really friendly. It's quite chilled out here it doesn't feel very corporate and I thought that now it's owned by a big company it might feel a bit corporate and sort of have lost that family uh, approach but it's not actually I think it's a really really nice park probably be back here next year to be honest to come and try out Steel Curtain it's only three and a half hours away from the old cedar and uh, so I'd like to uh, I would like to do that but there you go Alex what Hello. do you think to this park uh, I think it's a nice park very nicely presented theme park keywords theme park mm. it's got an amusement feel again but it's very much a theme park to me it's you know it's colorful it's imaginative and it's kind of got again as we mentioned before a little bit of a Blackpool Pleasure Beach vibe about it oh it really feels like the old Pleasure Beach doesn't it and I'm hoping that Steel Curtain is going to be like their staple attraction at this park and hopefully as you say Sean with like the Thomas Land expansion that was built earlier the Thomas Town shall I say rather um, and obviously Steel Curtain, Curtain and of course hoping that this Premier Skyrocket gets reopened too hopefully then this park is going to be on the up I mean that's a good start getting one of your SPNO rides up brand new ride brand new kids area that is a good way to develop your park one thrill one family keep it growing like that and actually I think this part also is branded very very well especially like you know what you've got here which but which way is Kennywood Kennywood uh, I think I'm gonna say it's that way yeah you are but correct I actually took this sign off you for a moment just to kind of point at this gentleman right here who I'm very sad if this is the last part day we're having with this him. This is it. You won't see Brett in a vlog now for a very, very long time. Sorry, He's off to sleep now for months, but you know, he'll be back at some point in the future. Yeah. Have you his match in the t shirt? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you enjoyed the day? Great day, great park. Um, just have been a, just a nice, chilled out day. We've not done tons of rides. Yeah, just really chill. enjoyed the park for what it is. And it's just been a great week. Well, I've been here about, what, a week and a half? Ago? It stayed a lot longer than you were yeah, planning to. Yeah, it's been a great week. And I'd say this is probably one of the best parts we've done, honestly. I think so. It's, you know, got that family feel, amusement feel to it. Um, the rides are great. Obviously, they've got a new big coaster coming, which is awesome. This SBNO coaster should open up will be great. I think what they need to do in the future is maybe clean a few things up. A few parts mm. of the park are a bit dated. A couple of pathways are a bit dirt, dirty and stuff like that. But the park in general is, is a great park and we look forward to coming back in the future. And with it being so close to Cedar Point, we'll definitely, you know, have it featured and coming up. It was amazing. Mm, there you go. Well, thanks, Brett, for a wonderful trip. Like, it's been great, of course. It's not quite the end yet for me and Alex. We've still got some big book at this park. So we're at Canada's Wonderland, uh, Six Flags Great Adventure, uh, Hershey Park. We've got loads. Like loads still to come up, but from us three, from the three boys, that is it. Back down to two of us from here on in. We've had happiness, we've had fun, we've had stress, tired, sleep apnea, everything on this trip for the first time. Losing Brett here right now, it's sadness. We're, we're glad to have you here, buddy. It's been Brett. fantastic. Sad to, sad to leave, but you guys are gonna have a good rest of the trip. Good luck with everything. It's time for us to leave the USA and make our way to Canada. Canada we go. There we are, new country credits. I'm wow. looking forward to it from the three of us here from Kennywood. That means it's time to which way is it? Keep those credits. See you later.